One seed, one year, what story will it tell? Hi, I'm Gardener Scott, and I discuss everything gardening so that you can become a better gardener. Today's topic, the single seed challenge. If you had to choose just one seed that you were going to start this year and grow in your garden, what would that seed be? Or to look at it another way, if you've got a whole bunch of seeds that you're starting, which one would you pick out as your favorite or your most important or the one that you want to track and see how it does when compared to all those other seeds? Well, that's the basic idea behind the single seed challenge. The idea is to take a single seed and follow it from when you put it into soil until when you harvest it. And I think even beyond that to the point when maybe you save the seeds from its fruit for next year. Now the single seed challenge began with Scott Head. He's got a great channel. Black Gumbo Southern Gardening. And the idea is for video creators like me to choose a seed and then make videos and track its progress from start to finish. But I'm extending this challenge to you, to all gardeners. We're going to make videos about this. And if you look for the hashtag Single Seed Challenge 2020, and I'll put that in the description below. But if you look at that hashtag, you're going to find a number of video creators that are tracking the progress of a single seed and putting it to video. Well, many of you don't have video channels, but I think you can do the same thing. I've been pushing garden journals for quite a few weeks now. Use your garden journal as your video or your way to document a single seed from soil to harvest and beyond. I will be tracking this seed right here as I move forward and I'll be tracking it using videos. So I'll show you how I start it, how I germinate it, how I grow the seedling, and then how I transplant that seedling into my garden. And then once in my garden, how I take care of it, how I water it, how I fertilize it, until I get to the point that I show you how I prune it and how I harvest its fruit. And then I'm going to show you how I use it in my kitchen and how I save the seeds for the next year. This is something that you could easily do. For me, with a big box of seeds, the hardest part was just choosing which seed I was going to track. And I've got a number of different plants I'm growing. I narrowed it down to tomatoes because I like tomatoes. I probably grow more tomatoes than just about any other type of plant in my garden. But I also thought that if you can follow me as I progress through growing tomatoes, you might benefit the most from that because tomatoes are the most popular fruit in most countries in most gardens. So as I looked at the different options of the different tomatoes I have, I've got Sun Gold and Berkeley Tie-Dye Green and Gold Nugget. I've got hybrids of different types. I've got Kellogg's Breakfast. I've got Salvaterra Select, something I've never grown before. Lemon Drop. Where do I begin? Which one do I choose? Well, I narrowed it down to this one. And this is my favorite tomato, purely from a taste perspective and the fact that it's pretty easy to grow in my garden. It's Black Crim. And I've got this package from Seed Savers Exchange. Luckily, it's packed with a whole bunch of tomato seeds. So even though I'll be tracking this individual seed, I'm also going to be starting a number of the other seeds of black crim. And along the way, I'll show you how I do different methods, how I will start seeds in different growing media 
And when it gets out to the garden, I'll show you side-by-side -side comparisons between the different methods of growing. But it all comes down to this black creme. So what would you choose if you could just pick one seed that you were going to follow and track for the gardening season? Which one would that be? Let me know in the comments below because I'm interested to see what kind of variation we get. I'm guessing many of us would choose tomato as our favorite seed. But if you like squash or corn or radish or any type of flower, let me know below and then start your own single seed challenge and track it. And let me know in the comments of the videos that are upcoming how your progress is going so that we can share the information. If you also want to choose a tomato, well, you might match closely with the process that I'll be following. Now, do realize that I'm in a zone 5B garden, so I have yet to start the seeds. It's going to happen this week. If you're in zone 8 or zone 9, you're probably way ahead of me. And so my videos may fall a little bit behind you as I start showing the progress of this seed. But that doesn't mean that you have to wait for me. Go ahead and start tracking it. Even if you are already starting seeds and they're already in the ground, well, don't think that you can't participate in the single seed challenge. Go ahead and choose a plant and then track that plant as it proceeds. And maybe look forward to next year because if you can save the seed from those plants this year, well, next year, you'll be able to start your single seed challenge with the seed from the previous season. That's my intent as I move forward. Let's communicate about this and look forward to those videos that I'll be producing in the future about this single black creme tomato seed. I will put the hashtag single seed challenge 2020 in all the videos in this series. And I'll put together a playlist of all those videos as well. So at the end of the season, when you're reviewing videos and preparing for next year, you'll be able to see the complete progression of this seed from going into the soil to going in my mouth. I encourage you to participate. And I encourage you to check out Scott Head's Black Gumbo Southern Gardening channel and all of the other channels that are participating in the single seed challenge because you're probably going to find a lot of great information out there on how to grow a lot of different plants, not just black creme tomatoes. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. And do subscribe and click on the bell so that you know when the new seed challenge videos are coming out. And I just started live streaming. The bell will notify you when my live stream begins on Mondays. I'm Gardner Scott. Enjoy. Gardner.